Hi everybody. Um, I know it's been a while. Um, I think this has just been moving so fast and it's been so crazy. So I know I haven't been on here a long time, but um, my surgery is uh, Thursday. So today is Saturday, um, the 15th, and um, I have my surgery date um, uh, November 20th with Dr. Fedorka um, at St. Bernardine's in San Bernardino. And I want to come on here real quick and do a haul, I guess, video of the things I have gotten the past month, um, stuff I'm taking to the hospital, and also some food that I have purchased um, to get me through the first couple weeks um, at home. So I just wanted to show you what I got. Those videos kind of helped me when I was trying to get ready. So I figured I would make one also, just kind of share the goodies that I'm bringing. So go ahead and get to it. So I have everything kind of set up here on my desk and also on my bed. And um, we'll just go through them real quick. All this stuff is what I'm bringing. Well, not this stuff here, but all this stuff is what I'm bringing to the hospital. It's a lot. I know. I'm probably going to get yelled at because I'm bringing so much stuff. But I'm one of those people that I'd rather have something than not have something. So... We'll just go through it real quick. Um, I'm bringing a sweatshirt, really big um, baggy sweatshirt, um, just in case I get cold. I work at a hospital, so I know it get, get, gets freezing at my facility, so I'm bringing that just in case. I'm also bringing some really short um, baggy shorts. Um, my girlfriend had the surgery about two and a half years ago, maybe not two and a half, but close, um, and she recommended getting these. Sometimes you have a catheter and or a drain tube and the short shorts kind of keep you decent but also allow for for the tubes to have some room to move around. Um, I'm bringing, I bought this set at Ross. Um, it's a, a, I'm sorry, a um, nightgown, jeez, <laughs> and um, a uh, robe, sorry, brain fart, a uh, robe and a nightgown together. I probably won't wear the nightgown gown. I'll probably wear the hospital gown, but I'm bringing it just in case. I also have a go home outfit. It's a really loose um, tank top and then these capri pants. Um, very comfortable, very loose fitting um, to go home in. The goodies I'm bringing, also a couple pairs of underwear. Um, the goodies I'm bringing are some baby wipes. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Again, my girlfriend recommended bringing some of these, so I'm going to bring that with me. This is the container I'm keeping all this stuff in. I'm bringing some Gas-X strips. Um, you know, my surgeon said I wouldn't need these. Yeah, my girlfriend said it wasn't, you know, something that she brought or thinks that I would need. But I'm bringing it just in case. It's one of those things I've been seeing on the YouTube videos over and over again. So I figured I would at least get them, have them. If I don't need them, then that's fine. But at least I got them if I do. The other thing that I have seen on multiple YouTube videos is this mouth spray. So it's a spray that you use for dry mouth. Um, I don't think there's anything in it. It's just water and like a minty kind of um, flavoring. And just to keep your mouth um, moist, I guess right out of um, you know out of your surgery and dealing with the anesthesia, your your mouth you get like really bad cotton mouth, and they give you like a sponge on a stick, <laughs> but I was told that this also helps. Um, my toiletries that I'm bringing, I'm bringing this um, Batiste uh, dry shampoo. My hair is really oily and I know I won't be able to have a shower, so this is, um, I'm gonna take this with me just in case I need it. Doubt that I'll probably use it, but we're bringing it. I also am bringing some lotion, some hand sanitizer, deodorant, and some chapstick. The other thing I'm bringing are these um, eye covers. <laughs> sorry. Um, eye masks, sorry. Um, because I'm really sensitive to like light and noise when I'm sleeping. So I am going to bring some earplugs also. I don't have it in this pile, but some earplugs and the eye mask. The other thing I'm bringing, which again, probably don't really need. I might not even take them. Um, a stress ball. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but I have these. So I was going to bring them just in case. I don't know. You get bored. Who knows? <laughs> So those will be coming with me. Um, I am bringing a mirror and a camera and my earbuds. I need to grab my phone charger, but we'll do that, you know, before I leave. Um, the footwear that I am bringing are some sandals and also some slippers. 
and bringing some of these socks that has the rubberiness on it. Um, I, I know you're going to be walking a lot, so I'll probably end up wearing the socks most. Uh, I might choose one or the other here, but I might also just bring it with me. And this is the bag I'm going to use to take everything with. So um, the other little things that I've gotten are like my kitchen wear. So I got this strainer at TJ Maxx. It was like six or seven dollars but it's a double strain um i was told that you can blend you know if you get like cream or kind of chunky soups or some type of um, creamy with a little bit of chunk soups or whatever it is um you want to strain it so i got one of those i also got a sippy cup this is another youtube um maybe even a facebook page that i saw someone recommend this um it limits the amount of um fluid that you can intake so it helps prevent you taking too much and then also if you're laying down and trying to drink it's easier and it won't go all over you if you had a cup without a lid because you can't use straws um, the next thing that I got are these collapsible measuring spoons cups and um, these I probably won't need right away but I got them on sale on Amazon and I know I'm gonna need them eventually when I start eating out or eating anywhere to help um, visualize I guess my portions and to keep um, accountable on that. Um, the next thing are these kid size utensils. Again this was a Facebook I think page recommendation to get along with that sippy cup just again to help prevent you to eat too much. And lastly because I didn't have one <laughs> I got a thermometer. So um, I got this because you know when you have if you have an infection or something going on your temperature is going to rise and rise and I figured I might as well get one of these just in case I'm not if I'm not feeling too hot so I can manage my temperature. Um, next we'll go to the food supplies that I have gotten. Um, my protein powders and stuff like that aren't here. I've ordered those on Amazon and I should be getting those either um, probably on Monday. And I got the Nectar um, Strawberry Kiwi and also the Isopure. Um, it's the non-flavored version. And those are in the big, big like two or three pound tubs. So I did buy those. Um, first, I am a coffee fiend. So I got some decaf options for myself. I got Folgers and, um, sorry, Taster's Choice flavors, and these are in these little packets. And I also found this thing at Target on clearance, and it's pumpkin spice, and it's decaffeinated. Sorry, my phone's a little blurry, blurry there, but it's decaffeinated, and it was on clearance, and I thought, eh, hey, made for me, so I bought that. I also am kind of a creamer whore when it comes to my coffee, so um, I can't live without it. So I did get the sugar-free. This is in the powder form. I might get the liquid form. I've, I don't like the liquid form. Um, I don't think it tastes good, but I am hoping that this works just as well. Um, it maybe even tastes, tastes better than liquid. Um, next, I got a bunch of soups. So I'm really <laughs> worried about variation in what I'm eating and going mad because I mean the same flavor over and over again so I did get a cut multiple types of soups so the first one are these um just onion soup mix in the powders next I got the Swanson Mexican tortilla it's just a broth infused with flavoring um the nutritional facts aren't that bad sorry my phone is not focusing there it goes um, this one's not so bad. So for one cup, it's 15 calories, one gram of, one gram of sugar, and one gram of protein. And um, the sodium is super, super high. But you know, you're not going to be drinking or eating very much of it anyway. So, you know, you kind of kind of compensate somewhere because it's just hard to find, you know, variation in soups that are low sodium. It's just the kind of, you know, it's just what it is. I got the um, chicken broth, Stair Brothers brand. Again, the nutritional facts on this aren't terrible. Calories are 15, protein's 3, sugar's 1 gram. Um, sodium's okay. It's still kind of high, but, you know, again, it is what it is. Um, I got these Campbell cans, uh, the cream potato. Uh, these for one half cup is 90 calories, and it has 2 grams of sugar, 2 grams of protein. I got the golden mushroom. Um, this one's 70 calories, 1 gram of sugar, 2 grams of protein. This next one is probably the worst <laughs> out of all of them, but 
again, I'm not going to be eating that much, so I don't have to be super strict. The only thing I worry about with this one is the sugar. So if my sleeve doesn't like it, this is going out. So this is a sweet potato tomatillo. Um, for one cup, it's 170 calories. It does have 880 milligrams of sodium, which is like yikes. Um, it also has 8 grams of sugar, which you're not really wanting to go over 6 grams. And it has 2 grams of protein, so we'll try it, but I don't know. <laughs> that might be going to my parents. <laughs> Um, the last one I got is a Southwestern black bean and corn. It's um, a non-GMO organic. I don't know if it's organic, but it's non-GMO. Um, this one, it's not so bad. It's 110 calories, 480 grams of sodium, 5 grams of sugar, 5 grams of protein. The sugar, again, is kind of high, but I think it's because it has the corn in it. So, again, we'll try that. Um, I did get some puddings. Okay, I'm going to just, you know, go on a tangent here. I'm not a fan of pudding. I'm not a fan of Jello. And when I heard I had to eat these, and it was only the only <laughs> really food that I was going to be able to have, you know, right out, I was kind of sad. But, you know, we're going to just go with it and make the best of it. So I got the only flavors that I thought I would be able to tolerate. So it's the chocolate fudge and the lemon and the pudding. And then I got peach, strawberry, and a black cherry in the jello. Um, these I got on like super clearance. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat these, um, probably after like the first week. I don't know. They're um, these powdery mashed potatoes. And I mean, there's really nothing in this until you put, of course, the butter and the milk in it. But really, there's nothing in it. And um, I figured, heck, we'll give it a try. Um, I got three different flavors. So the roasted garlic, the creamy butter, and the butter and herb. Um... Another thing that is just not my favorite thing, but, you know, it's what they recommend. So hopefully after my surgery, my taste buds and my texture issues will change. But um, I'm not a big fan of oatmeal. But I did get this, found this low sugar instant one with uh, three different um, flavors. And they're not bad. You know, the calories are under, you know, 120 or under. Um, the, uh, the sugar... Uh, Grams of sugar for the apple and cinnamon are pretty, you know, kind of high, but it's only six grams and hopefully that's not too bad. Um, this is high in fiber and it has protein in it. So, you know, hopefully it's, I'll get over the whole texture issue with my, with the oatmeal. Um, I did get some premier protein in the chocolate and the vanilla. Um, I got the four pack just in case, you know, I have, I've heard that some people can't tolerate these and some people love them. So, um, I also heard that some people have temperature issues. So some people can only have things at room temperature. Some people can only have things cold. So I split mine. So I put two of each flavor, um, in the fridge and two at room temperature. And that way I kind of just keep my options open and see if my sleeve likes one over the other. Um, another YouTube trick on that one. So for my protein, another protein thing, including the powders that I already had discussed before, I got a sample of this at one of my support groups and I haven't tried it yet, but this only has 3.8 fluid ounces in it and 42 grams of freaking protein. And for someone who can't get a lot in, <laughs> um, especially initially, this might be my lifesaver um, right after surgery. Please focus phone. Sorry, guys. See if I can get that. I mean, there's nothing. Sorry, my phone does not want to focus on that. Woo, there it goes. Okay, so 180 calories, but 42 grams of protein. There's no sugar in this. Um, two grams of carb. So, you know, we're going to try it out. So I found the six pack at Walmart for like 15 bucks. It wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but you know what? Desperate times, I'm not going to be able to eat anything else. So I can spend $15 on my meals for like a week. So again, I split these. Some of them are out here and some of them in the fridge. Um, I got some vitamins, but they're not all here. So I'm not going to go over those. I did find these vitamin D chews at GNC. Um, I do have the vitamin for them, but I figured, you know, kind of like with the calcium, you know, sometimes you want something sweet so you can get your vitamin and get something sweet at the same time. This liquid, um, C CQO or CQ10, sorry. Um, that was another YouTube recommendation. Um, I'll pull it out. It's from Costco. It was not cheap. Okay. This thing was probably $25. Um, but I heard 
wonderful, wonderful things about this. So it's, I don't really know what it's all about, but I know it's supposed to get rid of um, like free radicals and toxins in the body. And it's just supposed to be really, really good for you. So I got it, I found it in the, in the liquid form and you know, it just has, I don't know, it just has all these re great reviews. So we're going to try it. Um, if I don't like it, it's going back to Costco because um, it wasn't cheap. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted. Again, it's just another YouTube thing where someone was talking about how, how helpful it was for her. So um, that's kind of it. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll do another video here soon um, just about, you know, where my head is and the most emotional journey that I've been going through the last few weeks and um, I'm going to touch base on all that but I'll do that at a later time since this video is getting pretty long. Um, if you did hang on, hang in there. I appreciate it. Um, thank you f for watching my journey. I've been watching a lot of people who've had their surgeries lately and um, you know it's inspirational to just see how everyone is doing and um, I promise to make more videos and more often. <laughs> okay, take care you guys. Bye.